exciting guest today. Our first guest, <laughs> filmmaker and eco-terrorist Peter J. Brown. <laughs> Welcome, Peter. Well, thank you very much, Esther. It's lovely to be here. It's lovely having you here. And aren't you looking nice today? Why, thank you. you get clothes were donated by Roxy Deku and some bling by the famous Canadian superstar Gabriel Miller. Thank you. So nice of them. Yeah, and you look great. Thank you. And so do you, Peter J. Brown. Well, thanks. Uh, my uniform's getting a little old, but thank you. Well, you know. And I shaved last week for you. Oh, looking very nice. Masculine. Rugged. Well, thank you. Yes. So, Peter. I'm married. Yes. Oh, he's married. All the good ones are married. Well, say lovey, right? So tell us about your movie. You have a movie, Confessions of an Eco-Terrorist. Are you scared? A little bit. You should be. But actually, uh, you know, Esther, I have to tell you, the terrorists are out there killing the oceans. Uh, we're conservatives. But who would go to a movie called Confessions of an Eco-Conservative? Not me. I <laughs> Not you. I would go to a movie, but yes. Oh. Oh, yeah, I would go to one. So the, the, the term terrorist is used for... Uh... Well, the term terrorist is a term that we put on people that we don't like at the moment, and generally winners write the history, and quite frankly, if we don't win in a hundred years' time when people write the history, then uh, you know, there'll be no history. <laughs> so if we win, we're not going to be considered terrorists, are we? No. So we've got to win. Yeah, I think we've got to win. We're going to win it. So Confessions of an Eco-Terrorist, I saw the screener. I've seen you on CBS, I saw you on Stephanie Miller, I've seen you in Variety magazine. You and I've never, I've never been so nervous. I mean, as here. Well, you know, I'm with a big superstar. Well, you know, I don't want to toot my own kazoo, but uh, I do what I can. So, how do we win this war? Well, I don't know how we win the war, but ultimately, uh, in the last 30 years, we are coming to a point that people are conscious now about wanting to be green and wanting to have a decent environment. So, yeah. if you change people's consciousness, sooner or later, they're going to have to come around to it, and uh, hopefully soon. Sure, before it's too late. Well, yeah, people like myself, we try to conserve little areas so there's stuff that we come back to. But yeah, I, you know, before it's too late, but heck, you have to try. So why don't you tell our viewers, our friends out there, how did you get started in the environmental movement and, and when was that? Oh, well, I come from Cape Cod and it's very environmental and uh, we have made a national park in the place I live in and so I've always been environmental and uh, I was just lucky enough to meet Paul Watson back in 1981 uh, doing a story on him and I just became friends, helped out. Oh, and, and where were you? Where did you go on your first uh, adventure? Japan. Japan. I can't go back. Yeah. It was a real adventure. That's all right. Because uh, they do a lot of terrible things there in the waters. Well, the Japanese are a culture that tends to use the environment to their whatever they want to do, and they don't have a real appreciation of, of longevity of things. But I think they'll come around to it. I hope so. I hope so. And uh, off the off the that topic, I heard a little rumor you spent some time with the Taliban. Is that is that true? 